How to find the measure of the complementary angles using algebra. So the first and most basic thing is to make sure that our angles are actually complementary. Okay, in this case, we know they're complementary because they're right next to each other. And we're also told that they're complementary. So remember, complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees. Okay, let's keep that in mind. So now, if we know they add up to 90 degrees, we can add them together and set them equal to 90. So that's what I did here. Okay, the 19x plus 3 that comes from angle 2 and the 8x plus 6 comes from angle 1. Now we simply solve the equation. So the first step here is adding like terms. So the 19x and the 8x makes 27x. 3 and the 6 makes 9. If we subtract 9 from both sides, we get 27 x equals 81, and we divide both sides by 27, we get 3. Alright, now if you want to take it one step further, okay, now that we have our x equal to 3, if we want to find the measure of angle 1, what we do is we just substitute this 3 into the original. So that would be 8 times 3, which would give me 24, plus 6. That would give me 30. So that would mean angle 1 is 30 degrees. And if we did it for angle 2, that would be 19 times 3. 19 times 3. Well, let's see. 19 plus 19 is 38. Plus another 19 would be 57. And then 57 plus 3 is 60. So we have 60 for angle 2. And that makes sense, right? Because angle 1 was 30. Angle 2 60, and 30 plus 60 equals 90 degrees. And that completes our problem.